Hey friends, tickets are now available for our new series of live workshops taking place in November and December. They're focused on getting coffee professionals and small business owners better prepared for 2023. There's one for coffee professionals, one for those looking to start or grow their business as a coffee consultant, and there's one for customer acquisition planning that's tailored to small business owners. Go to mapperforward.coffee forward slash events to grab tickets or check the show notes for details. Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Map It Forward and Map It Forward Middle East. This is a swap cast. This is episode two of our five-part series with myself and the host of our Middle East podcast, Sara al Welcome back, Sara. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so in this episode, we're talking about the difference between having a pop-up cafe versus having a grown-up full brick-and-mortar cafe Um which is what you did. And you did that in a very challenging time. You transitioned uh, from your pop-up to the stationary, beautiful cafe <clears throat> in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia called that. What's the difference between, in your experiences, what's the difference between having a pop-up and having the brick and mortar? Oh, big difference. Uh, yeah. So the pop-up is a pop-up and uh, I, I might start with telling you what is the, uh, what are the similarities? Okay. So uh, at that time, it was the, it was challenging times. Why? Because as I told you before that at that time, like I couldn't own my cafe or work in my cafe. So in that period of time, I found a solution for that and I overcome the obstacles by having a pop-up where I can go in small buildings or large buildings and be there for the cafe and serve customers and work as a barista and manage the business. In, in this, like the stationary location and the cafe, it's also challenging times because we have, it's like post, or let's say after the pandemic and uh, all the economic uh, changes in the world and uh, also with the increased uh, taxes. So it's both challenging and, and alhamdulillah, I tried as much as possible to find solutions. Uh, what is the difference from... Uh, regarding the uh, the weight on my heart oh. the the pop-up was easier to manage and it's more uh, let's say less responsibility mm -hmm. and uh, in this like in this new stationary cafe it's a huge responsibility because the pop-up you can just you know close the cafe and put the pop-up aside it's just a thing of one, two, three days or even one month or two months. Mm -hmm. But the cafe, you you have a contract with the, for rent. You're obliged to, to pay it, whether you are running the business or not. So in the pop-up, you have more flexibility with this. You, you can just, you don't have the money, you just close and keep it on the side. Or... Uh, like we had a lot of support in in that we were offering this service for free. So we didn't have to pay rent. Right. We, and we are offering the service. People are buying, but we're not paying rent. So without the rent, I can tell you it's very like more. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> one of the heaviest burdens on a business, isn't it? Yeah, it's the heaviest parts because... As I said, it's like one of the expenses that you cannot get rid of. So it's there. It's a fixed expense that you're going to have to pay it, whether you run the business, where you're selling, not selling, you're pro having profit or not. Yeah. The other thing, uh, it's also it's also about money and uh, like the team. I would hire people that I need for the specific event. And I will pay them by daily fees, but in the in the uh, cafe you need to have employees, and mm. you need to have a team, established team. You need to train them. You need to have established team, and 
because you can't just have people that are there uh, for one day or one week or one month or on uh, or on a monthly basis like just uh, you know short term contracts because you need people to run the business and uh, also the salaries are heavy <laughs> it's not something easy to pay mm. i want to say something on you the have salaries to... there if if mm. that's okay um there's something folks that's very unique about saudi arabia when it comes to salaries there, this is something that i think people will find fascinating in Australia, America, the United Kingdom, Canada, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, baristas are paid as hourly workers, mm -hmm. and they're not permanent employees. They don't get a salary, and so this makes while they're still expensive, if somebody's not working out for you, because they're a casual employee, they can be gone. Whereas everyone that works in a cafe in Saudi Arabia is a permanent employee that gets a monthly salary and and yeah but at more. the same time it's like uh, it's a challenge as well like if you don't have uh, if they're casual uh, employees so they can just leave you anytime totally so totally it's it's different here we have a contract so yep. uh, we have to find a exit strategy you know uh, and th uh, see things how they work for us both but we yeah. have to play it right right yeah but it just puts and, a bigger uh, it's a heavier burden for for cafe owners in saudi right yeah. Com so yeah if, and if on uh, this side if we want to get rid of somebody because they're not doing the right thing we can get rid of them but similarly like you said they can leave whereas for yeah. you this is a whole process yeah yeah, exactly. Mm. Also, uh, during the time when I opened the pop-up, we didn't have a to pay any taxes. Oh. Sales now tax, it's fifteen. Nothing. Yeah, now it's fifteen percent. So, from I went from zero taxes to fifteen percent, way different, and still people are expecting the same prices. That that's the thing. Like people are expecting the same prices back in 2016 and now in 20 we're almost 2023 20, oh, jesus <laughs> yeah and like in the pop-up i didn't have uh the taxes i didn't have the rent i didn't have to pay permanent uh, employees and now i have to pay rent and i have to pay employees and i have to pay other charges and then the tax and also and inflation this inflation and then i have to pay uh, keep the prices as is so uh as it was before so yeah this is a big challenge also in uh, in the pop-up we had like the um, flexibility to move around to change like we would uh, have the uh, i built it in a way that you can do it as an a u shape uh, l shape ah. straight line and you have a full cafe everything wow. is there Everything you need is there. You just need the walls. And um, you can move it. And it's really nice. It's because when, Yeah. And it's very flexible and it's uh, very practical. Because anywhere I go, I just do the shape that suits the customers mm -hmm. and the, the building. Now, no, it's fixed. Like we had some uh, like limitations in the building, of course, mm -hmm. like uh, the shape and uh, like it, it's a square. It's more like a rectangle than a square. Mm -hmm. So you have to go with the shape and the where the uh, water source is coming. You have to build the bar depending on where you have the water supply, where you have the electricity and all of this we didn't have in we didn't experience in the pop-up uh also like i would buy only what i need for an event now i have to have a stock mm -hmm. and inventory and uh yeah and you do the stock taking and uh, it has to be more consistent and it has to be um you know you have to be more persistent it's not like in in a pop-up in a pop-up you just like pop up get get the <laughs> get the stuff that you need okay let's get some uh, paper cups from here we just uh, you know have a stamp on it with that uh, logo uh, and or we get stickers and it's just white uh, 
plain white cups with our sticker so it's much cheaper and you just get what you need now mm. i need to have enough because you never know like one day you will have more customers and uh, you will you need to have the supply and it's not easy to print cups just in one week so you no. need to have a stock yeah mm. uh, plus like uh, um uh, you have to be more consistent in the menu like in the pop up we would change the menu every time depending on where we are on the uh, what the customer needs from us uh, if it's uh, you know winter if it's summer so there's that joy maybe yeah. this is the the joy that in the flexibility that i had but here no it's more uh, consistent and fixed and you have to go by the rules the standards and uh, you have more limitations. Yeah, wow. I mean, so many people say, I'm gonna, I've got a pop up, it's doing really, really well. I'm just gonna go and open a, a brick and mortar place, a permanent cafe that's just gonna make everything easier. <laughs> yeah. Did it make everything easier? No. It's also, two I, different I, businesses, I, it, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's not just scaling up or uh, no, it's uh, two different businesses. And also as, as we are you know, discussing, it's the pandemic. Mm. Like, I don't know, maybe before the pandemic, it will be the same business. Lab. And no. uh, I don't think so. So, um, yeah. And uh, also like I had the flexibility as Sarah, like during the pop-up, if I don't have an event, um, I'm not working, I can go and learn about coffee. I can travel. I can uh, uh, take courses. I can give courses. Now it's like even I have the license <laughs> to to train people, I can't. Like I don't have the time to go and do training sessions mm -hmm. like before. So um, so th this extra revenue I don't, I don't have that luxury, you know, anymore. Right. So in the pop-up, so, uh, like the revenue is not high and uh, it's decent, but I still have other sources of revenue. Income. In, in the cafe uh, or uh, income. <clears throat> in the cafe now, it's different. Like I have to be there. I can't have this uh, luxury of time going uh, traveling more or learning about coffee or training sessions so yeah this is like uh, what I'm experiencing now it sounds like the difference between being an auntie and being a mother <laughs> I, uh, yeah exactly <laughs> it, this is what it is yeah and also between between uh having just you know I don't know if it's a proper uh, any uh, Terminology? example, but yeah, yeah it's uh, you know like in a pop up, you're you don't have this um, you know um, what I want to say, like you don't have partners, you don't have yeah yeah it, it's more freedom. It's the it's more freedom. Now, no, I have partners, and you have to manage the expectations of the partners of the team uh, of you as well like mm. what expectations you set for yourself uh, of the customers like uh, also manage also the communication between all of these different uh, players uh, i didn't have that in in the beginning like as a pop up so even the team uh, i ha i still have part like some of the people who used to work with me now uh they're they're in that in the actual uh, place and it's different it's different even for them wow. like even uh, you can tell that the joy that they used to experience uh in, in the, the pop-up pop it's much different there's something about the pop-up that was very um it was light like on the yeah. heart yeah yeah it sounds like you went from this um, really joyous experience where everything was new and then everything got super serious. And it was yeah. like I was yeah, there with so you the whole I, time. I got the word that I'm looking for is it's the risk. Ah, okay. Okay. So here in the pop up, there are no risks. Like, what is the, the worst case scenario? I'll just close the pop up. Right. Sah? 
but in 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 the in the actual location here with all this uh, you know you have the uh, commitment and the uh, responsibilities you can't just say i'm going to shut off everything yalla mm. we're leaving yeah yeah so it's and, it's too risky and folks like just a heads up this is not your standard kind of pop up like <laughs> this this pop up is super beautiful um if if uh, i hope i hope people start building pop ups like your pop up was your it's not even you can't even using the term coffee cart <clears throat> to explain this pop up is not even close to what it is it's gorgeous but it it came with a sense of freedom it came with a sense of uh flexibility it came with a sense of like heartedness and an exploration into different customer bases and all this kind of stuff and peace of mind and peace of mind don't you miss peace of mind sara <laughs> yeah i do <laughs> again the a difference lot. from being an auntie and a mother <laughs> yeah yeah because right. it's like uh, it's something that you cannot reverse anymore no. When you be a, when you are a mother, you're just a mother. خلاص. You can't <laughs> reverse it. So, so that is like the perfect segue into our next conversation. We're gonna have a conversation about how has owning a business changed you. So let's yeah, let's, do, let's do it next episode, folks. Peace of and peanut butter. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in, friends. There are two ways you can support this podcast. Firstly, become a paid member of our YouTube channel. Secondly, you can join our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video before you leave and check the show notes for more information. Now, this is what you should check out next.